to another episode of Lucid Daily. Today we have a handful of things that we need to go over, so let's go ahead and get started. Very first off, Lucid was down 5.87% today, up 1% in the after hours. Lucid was not alone in the EV sector today. Tesla was also down 4.7% and down a third of a percent in the after hours. And Rivian was down 9.3% during the day, but they were up 1.33% in the after hours. Now, this I will talk about this in a little bit of a later video, but Rivian did post their production numbers for the previous quarter. It says, shout out to our team in normal working hard to ramp production of the R1T, R1S, and EDV. We produced 2,553 vehicles in the first quarter and 3,568 since the start of production in late last year. We're excited about this progress and especially um, and especially to see more customer deliveries. So they, they they talked about how many they produced. However, they did not talk about how many they um, have delivered, which I believe is about half of that 2000 number. So I think it was 1000, uh, a hair over 1000. I could be wrong on that. I need to double check. But good news for, for Rivian. Good for them to get their numbers out of, out of the quarter. I do wish Lucid would put their numbers out um, per quarter, um, just on the dot like other EV companies do and other automakers do. However, they tend to do on earnings call and I know some investors prefer it that way. So I think that's just something interesting that Rivian does. So shout out to Rivian. Next, GGPI was down 4.68%, giving up some of its gains from the day before and up one point, up up 0.13%. Um, Lucid tweeted this about the interiors of the car, a really cool looking interior car. Not too much to go off that. I do want to talk a little bit more about this uh, test Lucid that we saw at the Tesla test track. As you can see there, we talked about it a little bit yesterday. We even watched the video. Um, uh, Insider EVs made a pretty good point about this that I want to talk about. So the Lucid Air will clearly become a competitor for the Model S in the coming years as the EV startup begins releasing more affordable trim levels of its electric luxury sedan. The $169,000 Dream Edition may not play in the same league as the Model S. It's some $30,000 more expensive than the range topping Model S Plaid, but Lucid plans to launch a $77,400 Air Pure, a $95,000 Air Touring, and 139,000 Air Grand Touring models in the future. At that point, even though Lucid probably won't be able to maintain those prices, the Tesla Model S is bound to see some competition from the Lucid Air, which is probably why the Austin-based EV maker is taking the luxury EV so seriously. So I think that this is a great point that they are making that Lucid will go after the luxury space, that they are going to continue to push the boundaries when it comes to luxury EVs and hopefully in, in the luxury sedan space as well with the um, with Project Gravity. I'm really excited to see that and the things that Peter Rawlinson has in store. I do think that seeing this head-to-head -head competition may be a little bit later down the road until Lucid can kind of scale up its production. But nonetheless, I do think that this is a very clear market that Lucid has in front of it is the luxury EV space. So with that being said, let's continue. There was a, a company called Titan Towing that tweeted out a video of a Lucid being put onto a tow truck. They actually just did like a, a walk around of the Lucid on the tow truck because it got a flat tire. And I thought this was funny. Um, one of the comments, you can see all the torn up rims here. If you've ever driven a performance vehicle, it's pretty common to scratch up the rims. My dad's Model 3 Performance has rims that look similar to this that are super beat up from curbing it. Um, and that may have been caused from the flat tire, but I, I doubt it having all of these rashes all the way up here. So it looks like they're having a lot of fun with their new car. Um, next, Lucid Air just released a video on how to set up its Alexa in your Lucid Air. I didn't really feel like it was necessary for us to go through that as it's something that really applies to Lucid owners um, and it's just kind of self-explanatory, I feel. Here's the Lucid parking lot. We're starting to see some more cars leave. Here, I'll move my, I'll make my screen a little smaller here so you guys can see all the cars. Um, we're starting to see some more cars leave, so hopefully these customers are receiving their deliveries and hopefully they are done with the Dream Edition. That's just the biggest thing I'm crossing my fingers for when it comes to their earnings calls. Their earnings calls, if it was in February 28th, March, March, April, May 28th, about May 28th is when we should expect to hear from them for the earnings again. But again, I wouldn't hold your breath too much. Well, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and thank you for your support. And if you enjoy Lucid on a daily basis, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and like always, see you next time.